Shalom, everyone. Unhappy housewife right here. Wanted to tell you guys how to go about preparing for one of the Crumb Snatchers birthday parties. Yes, Crumb Snatchers should have birthday parties too. I prefer to call them Earth Day parties. Nevertheless, we did not go out and buy anything fancy. And if you are like me and you have children all around you, there are certain things you might already have on hand, such as paper plates, napkins, tablecloth, cutlery, candy, umbrellas, because crumb snatchers are people too. I think that they should be made to feel just like adults to a certain degree. I have always taught them to utilize stemware, but sometimes they don't want to utilize stemware. And this is one of those occasions. The crumb snatchers basically designed this entire table for the birthday party. And the food is very simple. We have here on the corner what I call mini sausage bites. More like an hors d'oeuvre. Turkey sausage on a bun and lettuce in the middle. All they have to do when they want one is just grab it, put it on their plate, and go. Some more finger food, just some crackers with some turkey bacon, baked it in the oven, the convection oven that is for about 40 minutes. Nice and crispy, crunchy, tasty. And here we have turkey teriyaki balls with pineapples and great tomatoes. The next food item are simply mini cheese pizzas, which I added a little bit of turkey bacon on top of. And people, let me remind you again, no turkey ever made bacon, sausage, ham. So when they gmo it, they add a whole lot of salt to it, be aware. Then next on the old McDonald plastic plate that's been in the family for years are fruit kebabs. Simply consisting of cantaloupe, pineapple, and of course apples. And on our tower here, we have our punch. What's in the punch? We've got cherry juice, pineapple juice, lime juice, strawberry juice, and ice. That's it. As I move around the table, of course, we do have the birthday cake for the crumb snatcher who's celebrating. And I like to always throw in a little something extra for children. And these are the extras. We simply call it fish and dirt or beach sand. All I did was take some cookies, coconut cookies, Grind them up, added the fish, and we've got fish in dirt. Nice little treat to have with ice cream. And for those who really want it, we've got some candied popcorn. And these beautiful little cups that are great for espresso. You can tell when a person has flown a lot in their life when you see them with these cups. The airline no longer exists, but the cups do. Got some cashews right here. Using what we have on hand. Baby spoon. And of course, I froze these wonderful frozen fruit treats. We've got strawberry and apple. They just flip that top off and squeeze it out and eat it. In the center here, we have homemade brownies that are filled with coconut and cashews, the crumb snatcher's favorite nut. Underneath, of course, there's those candy canes. Children love candy canes, so I keep a bunch of those on hand. And here we have our 
ice cream cone cakes with sprinkles on top and a surprise in the middle. And the ice cream cones themselves have a little bit of dark chocolate on them. Next to the ice cream cone cakes, just a simple drink, lime slices and water. And of course, right in front of it is cheesecake from, you guessed it, the Cheesecake Factory. They can hardly wait to tear into that. So as you can see, we've got our table fare all ready to go. Everyone, all of the crumb snatchers and their crumb snatching friends will sit down and eat until they are thoroughly satisfied. And I am going to be back there waiting for my name to assist. So this is how you put on a party for a crumb snatcher, a loving crumb snatcher. And I know you have one. Use what you've got. Use what you've got and be creative and set the table and let them go at it. How about that? Will that work for you? Sure is working for me. Oh, and for fun, no TV, no Wii, no technological games. We are going old school, very relaxing. Board games! Tic-tac-toe, Kids Room, Monopoly, Candyland, Flashcards, and of course, Uno. And by the time that they finish playing with these games, they will have no energy because I have a secret. Prizes will be given for winners and also for a little bit of encouragement. Spending time with one another and talking to one another, otherwise known as communicating. Sending one message, receiving a message. You get the point, right? We don't need that technology. We're going to score with the board game. That's it.